Hey, what's going on? Long time no see. Yeah, so, you know, I haven't really been uploading very much, mainly because I haven't had a whole lot to upload. Uh, you know, the car is running fine. You know, it's uh, all in one piece still. Uh, oil cleared up, at least I think anyways. I dropped the oil pan a few, like, dropped the oil pan, uh, like, last weekend um, to fix a oil leak, which turned out to not be the oil pan. It was actually the oil pump. There's a little plug that's set on top of the oil pump, I guess for if you want to tap something directly from the oil pump. Um, I, yeah, the screw, the screw there was leaking. Not sure why. I had never touched it. It came that way from Boundary. But um, I just popped it out, put a little thread sealer on it, and torqued it back in. And it fixed my oil leak problem. So, with that done, uh, it's track ready. Or, well, yeah, it's mostly track ready. Basically just meaning that I don't have to worry about it leaking oil all over the track. So, aside from that, uh, I've just kind of been street tuning. Getting things sorted out. I've been creeping the boost up. You know, I've been creeping the boost up ever so slightly. Uh, you know, started out at 10 pounds. Uh, I've been cruising around at about 16, 17. Well, it's more so about 15. I kind of wanted to go for like a solid 20. So I adjusted the duty cycle by one point, and uh, this morning, this morning, um, it went all the way to like 25 PSI, which was really exciting. Made the car, I mean, I, I'd be fine with that. I mean, the turbo is only spec for 20 PSI, so that's my only concern with that. You can actually see in the log, the boost is kind of all wonky as it gets up that high because the turbo is operating out of its... Um, at, way out of its efficiency range, but I felt really good at 25 psi. I figure I'm probably gonna end up swapping turbos at some point. Probably going with um, I'm leaning towards a GT30 uh, 71R. Of course, a clone, not the real one, because I don't have you know that kind of money. I don't have Garrett money. You know, unless I can come across a used Precision for a good price, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the CX Racing. Um, 30, 30, or 3071R, you know, the ball bearing with the billet wheel. I really don't think, I, I mean, the billet wheel is really not, but yeah, from what I read, the billet wheels really aren't that um, impressive as far as the performance you get from it, but I mean, it's the way turbo comes, so that's the way I'll buy it. So, anyways, back to the problem, back to the problem at hand, which is the uh, boost spike. It really wasn't a boost bike. It revved up to 25 psi and basically just stayed there. And I don't recall hearing the wastegate open. So look at the log to make sure the uh, make sure the ECM was commanding the correct duty cycle, and it was. I had tested the boost control solenoid to make sure it was actuating, and it is. So the only thing that could lead that I could guess would be um, the wastegate might have a problem, or uh, my crappy my crappy vacuum line so I kinda I mean I've already kind of kind of ruled the wastegate out because I went ahead and lowered the duty cycles down back to something pretty low drove it home and you know I heard the wastegate open up so decided to look at the vacuum line so yeah this is the uh, the line uh, it's windshield washer slash vacuum line as you can see it's pretty pliable. I'm worried that what's happening is that it's collapsing. Over here in this corner you can kind of sort of see where it's uh, it's kind of developed a flat spot like when you fold it. It kind of it, it's it's pretty much collapsed right here. So I'm worried there, there may be a problem here like uh, there may be a problem in somewhere else down the line too. So, the thing I'm gonna, well, I know what I'm going to do is replace it. So what I've did, went back to the parts store, and rather than using vacuum line, I'm going to use fuel line, which is a lot thicker. It's not going to collapse quite as easily. You know, it's reinforced. It should be a lot better for my application. So. I'm gonna swap that out. And hopefully that fixes my problem. I may also um, check out the wastegate, make sure it's 
still working right. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do, crotch shot, is uh, get this intake out of the way. This is where I've got all the line ran, so I'm just going to pop this stuff off. I'm just going to cut it, so I'm not going to reuse it. So yeah, this stuff's pretty soft, and it feels softer in some places than, you know, you can see, like, right there, like, with it folded, how it's flat, it's completely collapsed. I feel like that's what happened right here. I feel like that's what happened right here is that at some point this hose just, just collapsed in on itself. and got some hose clamps to get rid of the, the zip ties I was originally using. I'm gonna need some more. Let's go ahead and add some torque on there. And potentially strip the uh, hose clamp out. Oh yeah, that's on there, that ain't going nowhere. All their cold weather's gone, and all the mosquitoes are out and feasting. Alright, so I'm going to take it for a quick little test drive, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and reset the duty table to where I had it, where I hit 25, and it's just one point. I don't know if I can do fractions of points. That might make things better if I can do like 37.5 or something. But anyways, set it back to that. Load that. So it's gonna be, I'll go ahead and send that. There we go. And we'll just go out for a little cruise and see how she does. Stop the data log and start a new one.